हे एवरी वन आई होप यू आर सेफ एंड डूइंग गुड इमेजिन स्पेंडिंग युअर समर वर्किंग इन द लैब्स ऑफ इंडिया टॉप इंस्टिट्यूट प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टिट्यूट लाइक आई आई टीज येस आई नो मेनी ऑफ यू आर हैविंग अ ड्रीम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम आई आई टी सो यू कैन फुलफिल युअर दिस ड्रीम थ्रू समर इंटर्नशिप बिकॉज मेनी आई आई टीज आर प्रोवाइडिंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू यू यू कैन गो देयर ड्यूरिंग द समर एंड यू कैन परस्यू यूर इंटर्नशिप थ्रू योर एट वीक्स इंटर्नशिप so in this video i'm going to tell you two such opportunities you can go there in iits and you can pursue your internship and definitely you will get after that a training certificate and once you get that thing in your resume then it will add some real value to your resume right but before that i just want to tell you one thing if you want to upskill yourself like maybe if you are interested to learn programming languages like java then and you are searching for right resources then no more wasting hours for searching right resources and all because i have got you covered i have recently started from 28th of march a new java from scratch course so if you don't know anything about coding it's okay because this course will be from scratch i'll cover everything from scratch so for a beginner it's perfect from like basics of java core java to oops concept multi threading database connectivity socket awt projects lead code questions as well as you will get quizzes assignments and much more we'll be covering right and you will get you can download my handwritten notes so you will get access to my notes as well those are like most comprehensive notes you will get so don't need to write down anything you will get everything pdf of all the programs and after completion of the uh, course you will get a certificate as well completion certificate plus you will get access to a dedicated whatsapp group also once you enroll in the course you can you can join the whatsapp group there also you can connect with other students who are in this course you can interact and you can ask me there also if you have any doubt so it's like i'm just one message away from you plus if you got stuck or definitely if you are going for any uh, course then you will be having some doubts so it's okay because every week we'll be having a live q and a session a doubt to solution session once in a week so in that you can ask any doubt and i'm there to answer right so it's like i'm there with you at every step it's not like that you will get just a bunch of videos lectures and all and that's it no i'm here to help you at every step right and right now for the first 100 students it's the price is only 3599 i have slashed directly half of the price and with the coupon code java10 you will get extra 10% off so it's 3599 but this offer is not going to last long it will be ending very soon so uh, the link you will get in the description box of this video you can go and check out and if you want to go for dsa as well as java then you can check out my another course there you will get data structure with java so first we will cover java then the course has already been started and enrollments are going to close soon for the course and then we'll cover dsa from basic to advanced same here also you will get a live doubt resolution session as well as a dedicated whatsapp group and everything will be covering projects questions quiz assignments lead code questions and many more so you can go and check out right now for this also there is a coupon code gift15 you can go there you can apply that and you'll get extra 15% discount but for this you have to uh, hurry up because enrollments are going to close soon for this dsa with java course So the link of both the courses you will get in the description box of this video. Go and check out. Now let's see. One internship is IIT Bhuvaneshwar is providing you, and for this any student can apply who is registered for a degree in any academic institution from anywhere you are. It's your from uh, tier three college or any tier two college you can apply, and any degree B, B Tech, B C, M C A, B S C or anything you are pursuing or M C A you can apply for this. whether you are in first year second year third year you can apply for this so it's open for everyone actually right see for computer science students electrical mechanical and uh, even science stu science students basic science earth ocean so almost everyone can apply for this internship but the date the last date is 10th of april to apply for this internship you go and check out the link you will get in the description box of this video you can go and check out the closing date is 10th of april now let me just uh, tell you how to apply for this see fellowship so in this case it's not guaranteed that they will give you some fellowship you may be provided fellowship but it depends on the availability of funds in that particular department right and after the internship after the completion you have to obviously submit a report to your uh, faculty there right and it's offline it's not work from home or online you have to go there and you have to pursue it right 
So once you click here, click on apply, what you have to submit, see the last date is 10th of, 10th of April, right? And it would be of three to eight weeks during the summer vacations of IIT Bhuneshwar and uh, it would be offline. You have to go there and uh, pursue. What you have to submit, photograph, your signature, your resume, bona fide certificate from here, you can download the bona fide certificate, your NDD card, your mark sheet and all the documents starting from matriculation onwards. 10th, 12th and like this. First semester, second semester. In which semester you are? Like if you are in third semester, so you have to submit till first and second semester. Those mark sheet. Or any other relevant document and certificate related to the educational professional experience, you can submit there. And a transcript is also, it's like nothing but uh, just a list of uh, all the subjects you have done till now uh, with the marks and all. Simple in English language. It's just a transcript. So for this, maybe you can go to the registrar office, maybe you're in your academic department and ask for a transcript that you have to submit, you are applying for this internship. So they can give you, all right? So uh, uh, you obviously, if you are a new registration, you have to click here and you have to register and then you have to fill your all the basic details and you have to attach all the documents and submit, right? I hope you can do this. But please provide your uh, the email ID you are using because they will contact through this email ID only. I hope now you can submit this. Next one is from IIT Jammu. Rise Up program is there. Research internship in science and engineering. An undergraduate program. But here it's not like that everybody can apply. They have some eligibility criteria. And here in this, you will get some stipend. Stipend of 13,000, I guess, per month. Right? Let me show you. So you can go there and you can check out the detail of this Rise Up, this program. Uh, you have to apply at this. So eligibility criteria is what preference will be given to the students who have good communication and sorry, technical and programming skills. And if you're willing to solve real world challenges, open to pre-final year students, non IIT Jammu students. So qualification would be B, B Tech or M, M Tech. Duration is four year, two year and end of third year. Then only you can apply. End of first year, if you are pursuing MSc, M Tech, then only you can apply. So there is some eligibility criteria. Okay, BCA students, M MCA students, BSc, these students are, I guess, not allowed to apply for this. But it's not branch specific. You, If you're civil, mechanical, computer science or any other branch are also there, you can apply. It's not any that from uh, if you are from CS, then only you can apply for this. Minimum duration is six weeks from the start of the date, right? So it will be started from 20th of May till the end of July, right? And uh, you have to select first one project. There is project given also. I'll show you. From there, you can select the project and one secondary project also based on your research interest, right? And um, obviously, according to that, you have to contact the supervisor. In the list, it, it is given the faculty name, the project and detail, everything you can select, right? And then you have to upload what? All your documents, your CV, bona fide certificate, declaration letter by the parents and other related documents which will be justify the potential of the student so uh, once you will fill the form you will get there all the documents what you have to submit right but before submitting you have to check the information because after submitting you cannot uh, change anything there right you may contact the faculty uh, members also before submitting the online application so better to uh, contact with the faculty member under which you want to do the project first and then uh, submit your application right and uh, the deadline is 15th of april you can apply till 15th of april it's fully offline you have to go there and pursue this see the students will receive a stipend of thirteen thousand rupees okay hostel accommodation would be there but you have to pay for that so this is the project details so uh, you can select the projects from here title of the project is given Project ID, faculty name, title of the project, number of interns to be hired, like one in this project, they'll hire one, one intern. For this project, they'll hire only two interns. And the description of the project is also given. So just read out this. There are so many projects, right? And in which you are interested and you have those skills. Like obviously for this, the requirement is you have the technical and programming skills. Then only you can apply. On which project you can work, based on that, you have to choose one primary project and one secondary project. Right? See, there are so many projects. So, you first go through this and according to your, uh, you can say skill, you can select and uh, then contact to the faculty. 
right and then there's application portal so you go there you have to log in first and then you can apply format of bona, bona fide certificate also you can download from there right and format of declaration from the parents also to be filled by the parents or the guardian so this is there right so you can download and you can just submit hostel and mess declaration form also so uh, from this the application portal for online application you click here and uh, you have to register if you are a new applicant and then you can apply for this so don't worry the link you will get for everything in the description box of this video you can check out and don't forget to check out my courses java from scratch and mastering dsa with java so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care